dear students today we will discuss motion in one dimension and to understand motion of any body or particle in 1d it is necessary that we discuss distance or displacement of a particle moving on curved path and on a straight line because when a particle moves on curved path from a to b distance traveled by the particle is measured along this path but to measure displacement we take this straight line path and measure of the length of a straight line is giving magnitude of displacement of the particle in this case if you are observing definitely this curved path is having greater length than this straight line path therefore distance traveled by the particle from a to b along curved path as ab is greater than displacement of particle in this case distance traveled by the particle from a to b along the curved path is greater than magnitude of displacement which is taken along the straight line path but in another case a particle is moving on a straight line from a to b in this case if you measure distance and displacement in a magnitude distance and displacement in magnitude both are same that is sab is equal to magnitude of displacement ab in this way we can conclude that distance is either greater than magnitude of displacement or it is equal to magnitude of displacement but no case is possible in which distance is less than magnitude of displacement hence we are finally making a result that displacement of a particle in magnitude is always less than or equal to distance traveled by the particle in the in that case hence if we divide these two quantities by the time interval taken in the motion we can get rate of change of distance or rate of change of displacement in this particular motion and in complete motion if in greater time interval we are finding rate then it is called average value hence if we divide total time interval taken in these two motions then we get average speed when distance is divided by time interval and we get average velocity when displacement is divided by time interval suppose time taken in motion from a to b in either case is delta t then s a b upon delta t is average speed and average velocity of particle in the motion is displacement ab in magnitude upon 
delta t. This average speed and average velocity are taken in magnitude only. Now, we can get a relation between average speed and average velocity in these motions corresponding to mo relation given between distance and displacement in the motion. If in this relation we are dividing both side by delta t, S A B upon delta t is greater than or equal to magnitude of displacement A B upon delta t. This S A B upon delta t which is rate of change of distance for the greater time interval delta t is average speed of particle and this rate of change of displacement in this motion is average velocity of particle in magnitude. In this way, average speed and average velocity is also related in the similar way as we obtain relation between distance and displacement. Now we will discuss about average speed because some problems on the basis of average speed is also asked in your competitive examinations, in our board examinations. Therefore, we are taking case 1 to get average speed of particle during motion. If particle is moving on a straight line and it is covering two parts of the motion in two different time intervals with two different speeds, these speeds are constant during these intervals. Suppose these speeds are V1 and V2 during a to C and C to B respectively and time taken are T1 and T2. In this case, to get average speed of motion of the body or particle, we apply formula total distance upon total time taken now total distance traveled in this case is v1 into t1 first part of the journey ac and v2 into t2 second part of the journey and total time taken in it T1 plus T2. It will be average speed of this whole journey. In some cases, these two time intervals are taken equal. Hence, if T1 is equal to T2 is equal to T, say, then average speed of particle or body becomes V1 T plus V2 T upon T plus T and after simplification when we cancel out T, we are getting V1 plus V2 upon 2. It is also known as arithmetic mean of these two component speeds. In case 2, if journey of particle is divided into two parts distance wise, 
then the position C becomes midpoint of the AB and in this case if total distance is D then AC and CB will be equal to D by 2, D by 2 and distances covered are with the speed V1 and V2 in these two parts. Therefore, average speed in this case is total distance upon total time and time taken in first part is D by 2 upon V1 plus D by 2 upon V2. Therefore, on simplification, we obtain 1 upon 1 by 2 V1 plus 1 by 2 V2 and result becomes 2 V1 V2 upon V1 plus V2. Sometimes it is also called harmonic mean of the two component speeds V1 and V2.